would not let alcohol to anyone. Suddenly, you take them out on the road, and they feel very small in this very big world. And it's a very real world, and it's a very dangerous world. Bueno, las reglas son muy sencillas. Eh, les vamos a rogar que cuando tengan, eh, bueno, que levanten su mano para solicitar el, el micrófono. Hay dos micrófonos que están en la, en la sala. En cuanto tengan el micrófono en su mano, les vamos a pedir que por favor se pongan de pie, nos digan su nombre, su medio, y entonces sí procedan a hacer la pregunta. Muchas gracias. Por acá la primera pregunta. Hola. A ver, un momentito, perdón. Está trabajando, adelante. No, no se escuchó, no está prendido ese micrófono. La siguiente pregunta por acá. Hi, Hello. Welcome to Mexico. Oh, thank you very much. You know, how, how was to say goodbye to all the cast and crew in the movie? And if you have some plans to make some music for you? Yes, uh, the last day on set was very um, <laughs> very awkward. No one really knew what to say. It was, uh, it was a very strange feeling. We've been looking forward to the end for so long that when it came around, none of us really knew what to say or do. So, uh, yeah, it was very emotional. I know, I know a few of us got very teary on the last day. Uh, and yes, in regards to music, I, 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 uh, I started a little independent record label and I recorded some music. And yeah, I, I hope to share it with the world and, and, and hopefully Mexico likes it. <laughs> of course, yeah. thank you. La siguiente pregunta. Por acá. Sorry, I, I don't speak English. No, no, it's fine. Sorry, I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Uh, okay. <laughs> translation? Does this work? Okay, let's try. Me gustaría saber con tantos años con este llegado a bueno de convivir con este personaje, si ha llegado a odiar algo del personaje y algo que has amado del personaje. Um, yeah, I've obviously been with Draco for over, over 10 years now, um, and I already miss him actually, it's kind of weird saying goodbye to a character once you've played him for so long. Uh, as far as things that I've liked about him, not much really, he's, he's not the most pleasant child in the world, it must be said, um, and there's everything to dislike about him, but as far as an actor goes, it's, it's really great to play someone who is so well written. Uh, as well as being so different from, uh, from myself as a character, Draco is the complete polar opposite to, uh, to Tom. So it's great fun to play someone so different. And yeah, I already miss him actually. It's, it, we had a lot of fun playing, uh, playing Draco over the years. So yeah, it's, it's sad to see him go. Así es, pregunta. Good afternoon, welcome to Mexico again. Thank you very much. Robert Gutierrez from the Chronicle newspaper. I would like to know about which is the message that you wanted to send to the young people that saw Harry Potter in these 10 years, 
and how do you want that your work was remembered in these times that the world is suffering very crisis of values and economically, which is a message that you want to send with this movie? And if you feel yourself like a role model, and if it's a responsibility for you. Thank you. Wow, uh, <laughs> deep question. Um, I mean, the messages are so strong in this film, um, in all the films, really, sort of, you know, the, the, the classic morals of love, hate, uh, uh, family, friendship, um, yeah, basically the sort of, you know, the, 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 the morals of decent human beings. Uh, and I think Harry and his friends really represent everything good in the world, and obviously <laughs> quite the opposite of Voldemort and his lot. Um, I think as far as my own personal character goes, Draco is really a, a, a product of his parents uh, and a real, a real uh, show of, of, of what terrible parenting can do to children. Um, <laughs> I feel very sorry for, for Draco because he has the worst parents in the world, it must be said. Um, so yeah, I, I feel very sorry for him. As far as messages go, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the, the strength of love, I guess, because that's the one thing Voldemort doesn't have. Uh, and the one thing that Harry has in abundance, uh, and in the end of the day, that's what's going to uh, make the difference. Thank you. La siguiente pregunta. Tom, hello. Can you hear me well? Crystal clear, sir. Ah, thanks. So, first of all, a couple of questions. The first going to be in the line with a, a couple of questions done before. Sure. So, uh, what kind of personal journey is ending to you at this moment? And the second one. What do you think is your best achievement doing Draco, Draco Malfoy? Wow, uh, sorry, the, the first question was, was, was about leaving? About how... Yeah, yeah, uh, what kind of personal journey is sending to you? Sure, I mean, I've, it's, it's more than most of my life. Uh, I auditioned for, for Draco when I was 11, uh, I'm 23 now, uh, so yeah, it's the majority of my life. It's, it's been an incredible journey, it's very hard to imagine where I would have been had I not have done it. It's, uh, it's, it's very strange, but an amazing journey. I feel incredibly lucky to have been part of this uh, amazing project. Um, and it is, it's quite sad to, to see it almost at an now. We still have lots more to look forward to, so the end isn't quite uh, in sight yet. And as far as um, achievements, obviously, yes, yes, I, I know all, achievement. yeah, all of the cast are exceptionally proud that, 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 we, that we remained throughout, really. Um, I mean, I was one of the, the oldest ones when we were cast at 11, 12. I know Daniel was 10, I think Anna was 9. So the fact that we've all, all dozen, I think, of us have actually managed to go through the last 10 years uh, and managed to, you know, to achieve the, 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 the eight film goal. We always figured that at some point they were going to replace us or some of us would drop out and they would find new cast members. So yeah, we're very proud that all eight films include the original cast. And it's, it's really nice to watch us especially Daniel, Ruben, and Emma, watch them all grow up from, from very young children to the, uh, to the adults we see today. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, Dad. Hey. Um, here. There you are. I'm 23 yeah. too, and I actually started reading all the books when I was around 11 or 12. Oh, great. I hated you. Like, Franco, I hated you. And now I think that the character has changed a lot. You know, and what do you think about how the character has changed? And a second question, because I come from a video games sure. website, is have you played a video game? I know you dropped it, and do you like it? Uh, yeah, to answer that quickly, I did that. The, at the London premiere, they had a, uh, an Xbox set up with the uh, the Kinect, so where you were doing all the all the magical spells. That was incredible. Uh, I never thought we'd see that in, in our lifetime, and I'm a huge gamer myself, so I look forward to getting into that. To be honest with you, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but I look forward to learning. Um, and, and as far as the, uh, the character, yeah, I think I think Joe purposefully wrote Draco as a one-dimensional bully for the first five years, so all the audience would really hate him. That, that was the, uh, the goal. Um, and then we see in number in book six, and, and finally in seven, we, we, we see that really he's a victim of, of terrible circumstances, and, and I feel greatly sorry for him. I think he, he, you know, Harry and Draco are really two sides of the coin. Um, Harry with every positive influence around him, and Draco with absolutely everything negative. Uh, and we really see in seven, in seven part one, we really see Draco start to question whether his uh, role models are quite so idyllic as he once thought. Um, he certainly starts to step out of his father's shadow. Uh, Draco's a real product of his terrible father, and in this film we really see 
see him start to question whether that's a, a good path or not.